Okay, this is going to be a quick vid on how to get PST Rotator to talk to Thetis and vice versa. We're going to go through this quite quickly. Uh, so communication in PST Rotator, UDP control setup. Check this, make sure it's uh, set up like this. 12,000 and 127001 for local host. 12,000 is the port that PST Rotator listens to for commands to move, etc. And one port higher, so 12,001, is where PST Rotator outputs to. You also need to go into Setup on here and switch on this UDP control. So that needs to be checked on. So get PST Rotator set up and make the sure it's all working as it should be. Then you can go into uh, Thetis Setup and in Networking, in the Network tab there, uh, multimeter IO, so networking, multimeter IO, add a UDP listener, and as I say, we need to listen on 12001 because it's one higher than what is configured in that that box. So 12001, and it needs to be an input of type uh, raw. So if we move this, we will now get to see a values appearing here. So there we go. The next stage, of course, is to add a container with a rotator in it, so we'll do that quickly. And we will set it up to azimuth only, we'll make it full size so it'll fill the box, like so. And we will switch on auto height, we'll eject it here so we can uh, see it over there. Set the text to white and turn it into dark mode. So there we go, but as you can see, the, the pointer is not where it should be, so we now need to use this variable in this uh, display. So we click on this percent sign for azimuth, that one's for elevation. So that's the variable we want to use, az, and there we go, we see that the pointer has now moved. If we move this in PST Rotator we can see that it uh, quickly tracks. So the next uh, thing we want to do, we want to be able to use this to control PST Rotator. So, we go back to our networking. We now need to turn this into a bi-directional. At the moment it's only input, but we need to say output as well. But we need to output, so we're listening on 12001. We need to output to 12000. So the easiest way to do this is click on IP4, pick the same local IP, but change this to uh, 12,000, like so. So we set an output, but we want to make sure that the output is raw uh, for PST Rotator to work. And then what we need to do is copy this four character ID. So we can just click on this, which uniquely identifies this, this connector. And we will use that in the Rotator control We'll turn use control on. We right click in there, paste or control V, whatever. That puts that four character ID in there. So the data from here will be sent via that uh, network UDP connection. And then if we drag on here, you can see that instantly it, it has moved. And you can also, whilst it's tracking like that, you can hit this move over to the center and you see that red blob if you click on it it will stop everything that's happening. So uh, there we go. Just a quick vid on that. Got any questions, whatever problems, drop them down in the text in the uh, discussions below, comments below, and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, good luck uh, setting it setting it up. All right, cheers.